What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I did a video already on the walkthrough of the Galaxy Note 9 Android Beta Samsung One UI software update that just came out for the Galaxy Note 9. And uh, one of the things I actually forgot to cover and I'm kind of glad I can do it in a separate video just to give it some more attention is the navigation change on here if you want it to anyway. So for instance, uh, you can swipe up from the bottom to go home you can swipe up from the left hand or right hand screen, depending upon how you have it set up, to bring up your recent apps. Or on the right hand side, you can swipe up to go back. And you can see, hopefully you can see on the screen, there's these little three lines here to kind of tell you where to swipe up so you know what to do. And the way you turn this on is if you go all the way down and then go to settings and then go to display, and then you're gonna see navigation I believe it's navigation bar there we go and then from here you have traditional navigation keys if you want that's how it always looks all the time or you can do full screen gestures and you can see you can also change the button order around so maybe you like your back button on the left rather than the right or vice versa you can do that really easily and then you can see show when to swipe up for home back and recent action so I can remove that if I want you can see it's gone just to give you ever so slight amount of extra you know maybe real estate or whatever but let's move that for now so if I swipe up it's gonna go home but sometimes it also <laughs> brings up your Samsung pay so it's kind of a pain in the ass I actually don't prefer it that much it's I don't know it's it kind of gets in the way of the navigation the way they have it set up it's not as smooth as I feel like the buttons maybe it's just because I'm so used to the buttons but I prefer the way that even Google does it better than the way Samsung does it with their buttons. So we'll let this app load and we'll bring up recent apps. You can see there's recent apps. Swipe up, go back. So I mean, it's it's again, it's maybe it's just a you have to get used to it. But for me, it's it's definitely not a, a major win here. Uh, I tried it for about an hour and I went right back to the regular uh, navigation buttons just because it feels a little bit more natural. And I'm hoping that they don't end up doing this on like the when the note when the s10 come out and the note 10 come out i really hope this isn't on by default or if it's on by default i hope i can switch back uh, either to the way google does it uh, or the way that um, the regular buttons up below which I'm, i don't know it's just maybe again maybe it's a preference thing but otherwise it's uh yeah definitely takes some getting used to but other than that you know you still get the the way if you like you want to do you know multi-window all that stuff still the same and you can swipe up to go home all that stuff at the x to close that out so that is the new navigational way to go through the operating system on the galaxy note 9. let me know if you guys like it again I, i'm not a huge fan of it i like the traditional way of the buttons so yeah and again if you want to go back in there and turn it off just go into settings display and then go into navigation bar and turn navigation buttons back on and then you get your old home, bu home, home button back your old recent apps button back back button i don't know i don't in a way it seems like it's kind of weird that google changed all that stuff and then everyone's kind of doing their own version of it so that is the way the samsung's currently doing it let me know your thoughts again down below in the comments i'll see you guys down the road peace